Let me talk a little bit now about the navigation block. Uh, the navigation block uh, is, is a big important change. Uh, I think it's very useful and it helps me to basically get anywhere from anywhere uh, on the Moodle server. Uh, so for example, I could go up to the home page that has a listing of all my courses and a description of all my courses. Uh, the home page also has a navigation block, as you can see. I can go down and jump into another course site that I have access to. So for example, uh, this collaboration site here that we're working on uh, can hop right there. Let's say that I wanted to go directly to a secondary page in another course site. I can do that using the navigation block. I click a couple of uh, drop downs and here's the syllabus and I can hop directly into the syllabus from another course site entirely. If I wanted to move to another page within this section, um, that drop down is by default open so I can click on another page within this section. And if I wanted to go to another section within this site, I would click the drop down arrow and then uh, I could go directly to a, another page. So uh, powerful navigation uh, block. Um, I think that once we get used to it, we're going to find that it's a very powerful way to move around Moodle. Another block that I'd like to mention is the settings block. The settings block over here on the left hand uh, column takes the place of the administration block in version 1.9. And in addition to the functions that were in the administration block, they've grouped a couple other functions in there. Uh, first of all, they've grouped the switch role to uh, function that used to be in a drop down menu uh, up in this part of the screen in 1.9. And they've also switched uh, and added the my profile settings to the settings block as well. Now these settings here on the main page are the general settings for the entire course site. But if I go into a secondary page, let's say I go into this uh, chocolate knowledge quiz, uh, the settings uh, become context sensitive to quizzes. So here there are some settings for question banks, a preview, editing the quiz, and so on. If I would hop over to let's say a glossary, we have settings here for uh, importing entries, exporting entries, adding new entries, and so on. Now let's say I wanted to uh, access some global uh, settings. I can do that from the secondary page as well by clicking the course administration drop down there. And here are the main global uh, course settings that are accessible from uh, basically every page now. So it's a good convenience. It really helps. Uh, we don't continually have to go up to the top uh, Moodle page in order to uh, change settings.